Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our beautiful website at www.timelessartgr.com. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful antique um, ice box. It's probably, oh, out of the 1800s, late 1800s maybe. And it was made right here in Grand Rapids, what, or in yeah, Michigan? Yeah, Belding, Michigan. In Belding, Michigan. Where do you see that tag in on here? Right on the front. On the front? Yep. Oh, yeah. Belding and... Belding Hall Century. Yep. Um, trying to find the tag on here, too. Oh, yeah, it says Belding, Michigan. So Belding Hall must be the name of the company. Yeah. So anyhow, we got this beautiful uh, oak antique ice box that we had just restored. It looks pretty nice. Um, it's actually it was in pretty decent shape, but it needed to be refinished. Um, the customer wanted us to paint uh, white on the end, you know, an off white on the inside where it was actually off white. So you couldn't get that in there. It looks really nice. Um, down below here, same thing. The top is where they leave the where the ice would have been, and we left that galvanized. Um, still got a little tag in here too. So uh, that's not quite as pretty. Would have been nice to actually paint that too, but we did what we were asked to do. So here we go. We get this gorgeous, and she wanted it nice and light like this. So we got this beautiful old. Uh, oak ice box and behind me over here we've got one two three four five six seven eight eight doors that we've been uh, working on here for a house in Grand Rapids um, these doors were all painted with probably two to uh, four coats of paint somewhere in there and not only were they painted with two to four coats of paint that ice box looks really nice too um, but they were actually stained, uh, really, really dark cherry, um, finish. And so that created another problem for us too. Two of these doors I knew. Where are they, Corey? Over there? Yeah, uh, one's right there. Yeah, yeah. Right where my finger's yeah. at. And the other one is right okay. there. Yeah, so two of these doors I knew. The rest of these doors are old doors out of the house. Um, after stripping, you know, these doors was, like I said, somewhere between three to maybe five coats of paint, maybe two to five coats of paint, each door buried. Um, then it, we had a really dark cherry color up under that, where somebody actually stained the wood a really dark cherry years ago. So that created another problem for us, too. So after we got the doors all stripped down, we had to bleach them, and we bleached them for... Oh, a whole day, you know, repeatedly bleaching all the redness out because you don't want to be trying to paint something white when you've got a dark, deep cherry color, reddish stain in it. It likes to bleed out. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. After we bleached them out real good, we had puttied everything and sanded it and did that a few times. And now we've got like about four coats of primer on all these doors and lots of the putty work on them. These are extremely old, old doors and they really beat up pretty bad. So, I mean, we got hours of trying to putty this up and after you start spraying white on it, you still see little areas that need to be fixed. So we'll be fixing more of these little dings and dents as we go along. But the next step on these doors is to um, fill any more dings and dents that we find, sand the doors, and start to top coat them. They'll get about four coats of top coat on each side and then they're coming home to the home, homeowner. So once again, if you have any uh, antique refrigerators over here or any doors over there or any uh, fine furniture over here, anything like this, you might want to have refinished. Get these beautiful buffets. Antique radios back here, little antique radio here, piece of John Winter comes back there, all this gorgeous stuff here, more antique radios over there. 
More stuff over there. Anything you need done, just give us a call down here at Timeless Archery Finishing. It's family owned uh, business. We got Bruce, Sandy, Corey, and Jenna down here running the place. So thank you and have a good day.